Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107 out and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault, B, huh? Radio shout in, stepping in the building. I got a super producer in this thing, Mr. Hanky. What's good with it, man, my what's dog? What's happening, B, high, man? You know, it's been a minute, man. I mean, I know, man, but I mean, since the last time we talked, you've been out here living your best life in this thing, man. Huh? I, ain't, I ain't going back and forth with nobody. <laughs> I'm talking about for real. <laughs> Talk to me, man. This song you got with this boy Duval is a smash. It's taking over the globe. I mean, it already went viral. Hey, man, I don't even know what to say about it, man. It's just, it, yeah, you know, it, it, it happened. How did that song happen, though, man? Uh, honestly, man, we was in the studio. He had to do an intro for another record I was working on with Zero and um, my boy Bebe out of Dallas. Yeah. And um, I was like, man, while he was in there, I was like, hey, man, you know that smile? What you call it you be doing on the internet? You <laughs> yeah. know, we're on radio. I can't see it. But, exactly. Uh, i like, man, that'll be a crazy record. And uh, I played one beat. He was kind of kind of all right, all right. And I put on that beat, man. And he just started doing that little dance all around the studio. <laughs> and he just started just saying it, doing it. The whole, everything he doing now, he did right then and there. Are you serious? It like, like clockwork. What was going through your mind? Did you know that it was uh, magic happening at that point in time, though, man? I knew it was something special, man, um, just because, you know, the engineers usually don't care yeah. when they're in the studio. And dude was sitting there, like, being so cool, and then he just turned around, he was like, yeah, yeah, that's hard. I was like, okay. Yeah. But I knew um, the second time we linked up, mm -hmm. you know, once we did the the first, he did the intro, and he just did the smile part. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing else. Nobody did a verse. So I just took the smile and just flew it, you know, strategic places. Yeah. And, um. You know, that was it. You know, everybody started back working, doing their things. And like a month later, mm. right before the BET Awards, he hit me. He was like, Snoop finna do his verse. It was like a Sunday morning, like 8, 9 in the morning. Yeah. So I like, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Right. Right. So then uh, I, then he was like, yeah, man, we're going to shoot the video while we're in L.A. I got Bob Greasy to jump on it. And uh, we went to um, another studio. And that's when he did the best life part. I hadn't heard that part. Yeah. He, just, he would bounce around the studio the same way, you know. And he started singing that. And I said, man, that, that part got a real ring to it. Yeah. And then uh, that was it. When y'all dropped it, though, man, the reception, I mean, it went automatically viral. Yeah. What was going through your mind at that time? Did you feel like it was going to hit the ground running like that? I Honestly, man, you you never really know. I knew people would go react to it because I saw the videos he was doing the whole time, and it got a crazy response. And people was like, when y'all going to drop the song? We going to drop the song. And uh, we dropped the song, man, and then everybody, Instagram was lighting up. Everybody, the phone was shutting down. It was crazy. Like, people, like, aunties was calling me. Like, people from, like, 8 to, like, 80 was loving the song. Now, I mean, Hanky, you got to break down the track, man. <laughs> Talk to me. I mean, how did you cook that thing up, boy? Hey, man, to see the track, uh, I did that track around the same time I did the California beat. Are you serious? Yeah, so, you know, I was just in the zone, you know, just doing that feel-good stuff. Yeah. And just trying it out, you know. So, basically, I just was sitting on it, you know, sending it out to different artists. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's not the typical track. I like to take chances. Yeah. I don't want to do the stuff that's, you know, already, you know, popular. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to go... Try. I want right. to try some stuff. That way, if it stick, it's huge. That's right. Yeah. Now, for those that don't know, Hanky, can you go down a few tracks for them so they can understand exactly who the fuck you are? Oh, we can say that in here? Say what you feel. Okay, so I'm telling you who the fuck I am then. All right, <laughs> so <laughs> I did this song called Walk Around the Club, Fuck Everybody. Oh. Uh, that was in, what, 2011, I want to say. Yeah. And this other record with my boy Stewie Rock, mm -hmm. Chase James, and B.O.B., Smart Girl, Dumb Booty. Yeah. Uh, a lot of those early Travis Porter, Walker Flocker tapes, Streets Are Us, uh, the Waffle House song, uh, like about five or six songs off of there. Mm -hmm. uh, Work with Collar Park Music, a lot of the earlier Soldier Boy stuff, uh, V.I.C., Hurricane Chris, uh, Young Jeezy. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the California record mm -hmm. with uh, Colonel Loud, Young Dolph, T.I., Rico Barino. DJ Luke Nasty on the way. Yeah. Went gold. I think it should be platinum now. But um, and then these couple of records right here, uh, Lil Boosie, uh, I remember Webby, uh, OT Genesis, Lil Wayne, Do It, mm -hmm. uh, and now Lil Duval, Smile. As a producer, Hanky, how did you get into the game, man? What was it that made you say, you know what? Let me go ahead and start making these tracks. Man, honestly, uh, it started in college, man. We were just sitting around the dorm room, hanging around, you know, doing college activities. Yeah. And um. 
you know, everybody sitting around freestyling. Mm-hmm. And um, I just started making beats for us to freestyle to while we was, you know, er- people were partaking of, you know, college activities, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. So, <laughs> and then, man, one day they was like, hey, man, that's hot, man. You should really, you know, try to do that. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. And um, one day somebody actually bought some beats from me. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Mm. And then um, next thing you know, I moved back to Atlanta after school and uh, linked up with some childhood friends, uh, you know, people in the neighborhood that we grew up with. High school, they was rappers, uh, Baby D mm-hmm. uh, from Matinee High School, Baby D, Gucci Man, yeah. uh, Rich Homie Kwan now, you know. So I was like, dang, this really going on in Atlanta, you know. And I just shot my shot and it started yeah. working. Break down that creative process, though, Hanky. When you get in that studio, what is it that you're looking for, man? Because, see, I know you can chop up a sample like a, a monster, okay? <laughs> Break it down. What is it that you're looking for when it's time for you to crank out another hit in this thing, man? I mean, the main thing, uh, it was, I was just really trying to do something different. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, I already got the beat or the concept in my head. So I'm just, you know, you might see me out, you know, Cam will tell you, man, you see me out, you know, in the club and stuff, and I'm, you know, Part, you know, partying with the people, but I'm really studying to see not what's going on, but to find out what's missing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's it's easier and it makes more sense to give people what's missing in the club than rather what's already being played. Because mm-hmm. that's the last thing you need is another Narcos or another <laughs> uh, what's ever the DJ playing. Exactly. So uh, take about 15, 20, 30 minutes, you know, at the most. And, um, uh, the big, the hardest part is getting the, the artist to buy into it mm-hmm. because it is so different. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So now I know you mentioned my dog, Mr. Collie Paul, man, another musical mastermind. Yeah, he a legend, man. Talk to me about working with that guy and some of the game that he laid on you. I mean, just being around them, the whole Collie Paul music situation. Yeah, like all of the artists were different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just take the uh, VIC Wobble record. Yeah, it was totally. It sounded so weird to the point. When it first came out, nobody caught on to it. But when it caught, it was out of here. Yeah. So I just learned that, you know, just being around them and just like, look, man, you know, you might not, you know, they already got that kind of stuff going on. Or they already got a soldier boy. Or they already, that's what they're doing already. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But you got to do it differently. Exactly. You know, so, man, it's the the game that I got from that whole situation is like, you you can't even put a price tag on it. Exactly. Now, for upcoming producers that's watching this view interview right now, man, trying to figure out how to get into the game and what they need to know, what is some advice that you can get to them to help them speed up the process, man? Man, I, I can't even tell you what to speed up the process, but I can tell you what to do to make sure you're moving the right way. Yeah. So the main thing is, you know, just just rock with who rocking with you and get with an artist that you really believe in because, mm-hmm. you, you know, you a lot of people are just, go out chasing stuff or chasing the artist or mm-hmm. chasing the movement that's already going. Yeah. And what they don't know is those people have been working together for the last two years by the time you hear it in the club. So yeah. they they already locked in. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> they ain't going back and forth with nobody. <laughs> like no new friends, none of that. You that's know, facts. so unless you just super, super hot. Yeah. So just really, you know, try to find an artist that you can develop yourself, mm-hmm. like the legends in this game, like the collar parts, the the Jermaine Dupree's, the Dr. Dre's, Timlin. Yeah. They all got their whole start from breaking their own artists, Thanks. not chasing who's hot. The way. Yeah. Now, from the time that you was in that college dorm room to now, man, I mean, how has that journey been for you, though, Hanky? Man, it feels, it, honestly, man, it still feel like I'm in college. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Hey, man, I mean, it's it's like, you know, it's, it's the vibe still there, you know, yeah. so it's just, Doing this, you just automatically just, you know, around people all the time. But the journey, man, it, the hardest part is just staying focused on, you know, staying focused on your goals. Exactly. Because there's so many distractions, especially once you get popping songs. Then, you know, people come out the woodworks you ain't talked to in 10 years. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, man, you remember that deal you're trying to, you know, I holler at you about, you know. I'm like, bro, I don't even know what you, I don't even, what? You know, yeah. it's just crazy. Yeah. So that's, that's the part just really staying focused because everybody pulling at you right now. What are some of your goals now, man? Because, I mean, you done had some hits now, Hanky. Right. So what's the goals now? All right, so what I'm doing now, I started a, uh, my own company called Cultural Resources. That's right. So we have our own artists, a whole entertainment type situation going on. So I'm out looking for the next big thing. Mm. Yeah. 
I mean, but how can folks contact you? Because you know, you just can't throw that out there, Hank. You know, folks <laughs> is ready to line up at the door right now and get on up through there. Yeah, man. So they can hit me up on uh, Instagram. All the social media stuff is at a Mr. Hanky Beat, A M R H A N K Y B E A T, or a Mr. Hanky Beat com. Or you know, they see you or anybody else that you know we rock with. Hey, it's it's love. Now, when you say you're looking for the next big thing, what is it that you look for in the artist? And are you also looking for other producers as well? Uh, definitely. I'm looking for all of that. I mean, the main thing I'm looking for is star power. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a lot of people with hot songs, but there ain't a lot of stars out here. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So every summer, you know, we got a new wave of, you know, the new hot song, but, mm-hmm. you know, you don't hear from them yeah. next year or whatever. Exactly. And I just think instead of focusing on chasing the records, you can chase the records, cool, but also build, like, real careers. Mm-hmm. So that's what I want to do. When you think about the production in the game right now, you know the trap sound is the most prevalent sound in the game. How do you feel like you're able to navigate that wave and still create your own lane and niche in the middle of that going on, man? I mean, me, I'm actually from here, so that's right. I know that that Atlanta street sound ain't going to never leave from, from the trap sound, even the Atlanta booty shake sound. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So... I know at the same time, I know how to be different. Mm-hmm. Give them that, give them enough of that, make sure the bass hitting hard, you know, the drums, you know, the DJs can play it, all that stuff, mm-hmm. but put a little music to it. And then just like we did California, mm-hmm. you know, it felt good, but they still talking, you know, some real street stuff on it. Exactly. So Now, to all the songs that you done produced, Hank, what are the ones that are most near and dear to your heart, man? I mean, right now, be honest, the the Lil Duval record, man. Yeah. I mean, because of the way it came out, it was so, it was so organic. Yeah. It wasn't no pressure about it. it. It still ain't no pressure about it. It was just like, let's try it, let's see what work. And it was like the easiest situation ever. What goes through your mind when the song drops and it explodes? I mean, the feeling, you can have a million records hit, yeah. but it, the feeling never goes away. Yeah. Because it's like, man, I remember when I was thinking, I'm going to take this Midnight Star, mm-hmm. the, you know, this Midnight Star record or this Frankie Beverly Mays record and make it a rap record. Mm-hmm. But now, and now the whole world love it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a, I can't even describe the feeling. Exactly. Yeah. Now, on the production side of things, when it comes to chopping up them samples and stuff, how do you get around that? Do you replay the stuff? I mean, <laughs> you know, it can get real, real when it's time to clear some things, Hank. Yeah, I mean, but... It's. I think it's like this. Uh, I got a real good attorney, uh-huh. and um, it just goes about. It's like a respect thing, you know. You yeah. got to reach out to the people, and even if it blows up, you know, still reach out to them. Like, hey man, you know, we just, we just, you know, put it out. You know, just seeing what it do, and it blew up overnight. Yeah. So what can we work out? Exactly. And nine times out of ten, they want to make money too. Why not? You feel me? Exactly. So you know, most of the time, you know, especially what I got going on now, they be like, okay, well, cool. Even some artists are like, now some of the older artists are like, let's sit down and meet and work out a, a deal beforehand. Yeah. You know, so it's it's good that's right dope. now. That's good. Yeah. Lastly, what you got coming up next, Hank? Man, I got a, uh, whew, I got so many records coming out I can't even talk about. Talk to me. But uh, yeah, you, you'll be the first to hear about them. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot on coming out, man. Uh, from artists from like Tory Lanez, The Wale, mm. uh. Is, that's that's what I can really tell you about right now, but the rest of them in the works, man. I can definitely Yeah, do. man. Anything else you want to get off your chest, my dog? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm just happy to be here, man, living my best life, man. Right. I appreciate you for rocking with me forever, man, the whole no 107.9, you know, everybody. Yes, sir. Like family, for real. And how can they contact you one more again? Man, hit me up at uh, A Mr. Hanky B, A-M-R-H-A-N-K-Y-B-E-A-T on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, that's also my website, amrhankybeat.com. And uh, I'm done. I can dig it. Hank. Hey, man. My dog. Always, bro. You already know what it is. Appreciate you coming <laughs> through this thing. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. You know what I mean? Be high radio. Shout it. It's Hot 107.9, man. Let's Smile. go. Smile. <laughs>